Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to you. Thank you again for clicking on this video and uh, watching the channel. Easy for me to say, but it's something I, I don't take lightly. I'm grateful for anyone that watches the channel, keep coming back, thumbing up, or doing comments on there, or generally interacting. It's what makes the channel grow, and I'm really appreciative. Now, I do. I am aware as well, um, to keep the channel vibrant, it's relying on new content going up, and, um, etc etc now I'm between jobs at the moment I don't mind admitting to you that's why um, the volume has sort of increased this video people might think I'm getting a bit too serious about things but because I am between jobs and got nothing else to do I thought I'd give this a maximum push to see in theory how easy it is to progress um, a channel now in order for someone to do this full time they need to generate uh, an income from it, which isn't the easiest thing to do, especially from your from a virtual standing start. I'm a, I'm a little way in, uh, as you know, I've got including yourselves over a thousand subscribers, but always can need uh, a bit more. So I've been doing a bit of reading up to see how can you potentially grow channels because it isn't enough anymore just to put up videos and expect people to find it. Normally, you have to do a bit of um, extra advertising and social media. So I've been doing a bit of reading. Now I don't know too much about Reddit or pin interest, so I'll scoot past that um, completely. Now you've already found this channel, so that's great. So a lot of these things I've recently set up, you can join them if you want, but it's not necessary, because it's all to do with trying to divert traffic, create awareness for people to come here, and you're already here, so well done. Now, you might have a few things, suggestions I can do as well. If you've got them in the comments section, then I'm pleased to um, have a look at those, and I'll get that considered. But the first thing I've done, is set up a Facebook page uh, for this particular channel called um, well Jenkin N Jenkins Seven. So it's facebookcom Jenkins Seven. Anyway, I'll put the uh, the link in the descriptions of this video. But if you want to click click on the main channel after this, if you're not watching this on the main channel screen, the bit with the banner across the top, it has got some icons, um, and they're all basically uh, these new links. So it's uh, Facebook page N Jenkins Seven. Now I've got a personal page as well. But I didn't want to put continuous links to all the videos on this channel because there tend to be quite a few because then my friends I've got from other areas on Facebook they might not necessarily want gaming lots of my videos in their particular feed if they're not actually into gaming so I set up this um, Jenkins 7 page separate so if people want to join that they'll get updates on um, when videos go up and various other snippets of news if the volumes on that increase quite a lot, I might do polls and do other things on there as well. But at the moment, it's just a, a divert source. But it's got about nine or ten um, subscribers on that at the moment. So if you're on Facebook and want to subscribe to that, you, you can do. Um, my personal Facebook page, to be honest with you, I just write rubbish on it. There's nothing about my previous career, age, anything like that. So I don't know if you want to. If you send me a personal request, I'll probably accept it. But the, 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 main, the main page is the thing. I've had going for quite some time as well, which you might have noticed on the videos, it turns up on one of the corners. I've got Twitter, um, Jenkins7Nick, I had to think what it was then. Um, got lots and lots of um, subscribers, of all those people subscribed to me on YouTube, I'd probably be rich by now, I don't know where they come from. I think the majority of them are bots because I use it so much and just pick up on keywords and automatically follow me, I presume. Again, there's always links to videos going up, so if you want to follow that feed if you're on Twitter, if you're not on Facebook, then you'll be immediately alerted to videos um, that are going up. I, I write quite a lot of rubbish on there as well. I think of something, it's on there and, and so forth. So it's two things. Uh, the Facebook page is the newest one of the two. And the third thing, which um, I read might be of help over the long term. It's fun to do, but I don't know if it is going to be a, a long term thing, a long term strategy. I've started a blog. Now the blog is off a platform called Blogger, which is also owned by Google. So Google own YouTube and they also own Blogger. So they're two combined under the same um, signing, which is quite useful. Again, I might each day, it gets updated each day. There might be news about the channel where I haven't got time to actually do a video because they are a bit time consuming. Or there might be a, um, I'll pick out a video that I've uploaded that day and put a bit more detail on it 
uh, about that and getting people to click on it and come here. But as I said, you're already here anyway, so there we go. So it's another thing, and there's keywords you can do. Hopefully over time, don't know if it takes years, that'll get picked up in uh, Google search and further promote the channel. There's links to the YouTube channel on there as well. Um, I did briefly think about monetizing that as well, but I think that would defeat the object. That's pointless for the sake of about one or two cents here and there, because it won't get a great deal of visitors, although I try and keep it as funny as I can. It won't get a great deal of visitors. I don't want people being diverted off on cheap adverts. I don't want to I don't want to sell people down the river. I want people coming to this channel to advertising this as a particular product. Although essentially I'm just reviewing games and do the occasional uh, podcast. Um, another thing I tried out, which initially I thought was going to be really good. Uh, now I've got a little bit disappointed with it, a bit disheartened. Um, it's always good to have a backup from YouTube, I thought, because you never know what's going to happen. And I stumbled across a site uh, called Vidme, V I D. Uh, ME, which I, I did a blog about as well. It's a much smaller video upload site uh, based in Los Angeles, and it promises quite a bit of growth. It looks it looks quite smart, and I thought, okay, um, there are some limitations uh, on it. First of all, I thought, okay, if this has got room for a bit of growth, I'll get a channel in early, and as the channel grows, I'll grow as well, uh, and, and that'll help, and eventually it could overtake YouTube. Possibly, but it's going to take something pretty humongous for a channel new to um, overtake YouTube. But you know, it's another iron in the fire. It started off quite well. I uploaded uh, three videos to that, and they've got, got some good views about 30 to 40 views, which is excellent as a, a new channel which nobody uh, knows about. And then I started running into all sorts of technical problems. Videos wouldn't um, upload properly, they stopped halfway through uploading, or they're upload, then they wouldn't process. And I tried this about eight or nine times and it kept failing. I contact the um, customer services and they said for me to re-upload. And again, I'd have the same sort of response. And, you know, my time is a little bit limited because I've got to keep the schedule going. And if you spend an hour, two hours, failed upload, another hour, two hours, failed upload, that time is better spent being able to do something else. And I started to get a bit to the end of my uh, table with it, which is a big shame. But... Um, I'll keep an eye on that, maybe try to upload a video maybe in a month or a couple of months' time. Uh, the main problem with the I was experience, I think, is the uploader on Vidme. Now, by using this other channel, it's made me appreciate how sophisticated technically YouTube are, and I've been taking them a bit um, for granted. No one, I don't think, comes anywhere close to them despite all their faults. But the uploader on Vidme, I think, was happening is during the course of a two to three hour upload, where I'm uploading the video, at some point, at least, my internet would go down for a second here, or maybe two seconds there, and that was enough to um, stop the upload from happening. It completely and utterly shut down and stopped, so you have to delete it and restart again. So, you know, something's bound to happen to me. I don't know what your internet connection speed's like. I mean, if I was watching a film and it went down for a couple of seconds, I wouldn't notice. It wouldn't even stop because it's uploaded in advance and it'll, it'll correct that. But this, it, it completely fell down. Now, the beauty of YouTube's uploader is, as long as you keep the browser window open, your internet could go down for about an hour, two hours, even longer. As soon as it's back up again, it'll pick up from where it got to and just continue on as normal, and then the video's uploaded. Now, it's been a long, long time since I had a problem with YouTube. It used to be, I think, a couple of years back. Sometimes it'll get to 95% processing and freeze, and I haven't experienced that for actually a long, long time. So YouTube, in terms of that, are brilliant. Vidme's still got a bit um, to go. So in terms of a backup, Unfortunately, I, I can't rely on that because it's taking um, too much time. So, you know, I don't know what your thoughts are on that, but um, it's going to be YouTube for the long future. Um, a few people have suggested me in terms of the uh, the money sort of side of things is a site called Patreon, which you might have heard of. Now, I've always felt a bit um, uneasy um, about that. Essentially, People that want you to continue to, to fund you so you can do uh, the channel uh, full time is they can make donations um, to this Patreon account and then you can draw out the money as a creator and use that to live off and to basically uh, continue, which is a nice idea. Um, I'm not sure how many people would donate to that, to be honest with you, but I don't want to have a situation where four or five people feel that they have to... Uh, keep me in an income in order to keep going. So it might work if someone had 10,000 or a million subscribers all putting little bits in. I'm a little bit uneasy, but what 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 do you think um, ab about that? I, I, I don't know really. I think really what I prefer to do 
if I ever get the time, is to create some sort of tangible product uh, that people can buy. Now, I know that I review games and we have a bit of a laugh, we do those podcasts as well, so on those sort of things, I'm a reviewer, although I'm creating something, you're not actually creating anything. So whether, this is just an idea at the moment, because I am I have had creative writing published in the past quite a while ago and I did enjoy it. So I thought, could I produce, maybe I'll get time again, uh, eBooks like stories, creative writing, maybe not necessarily to do with retro gaming, like stupid worlds of um, uh, fancy and produce those as actual short stories or books, would people buy those? So instead of actually giving money to a Patreon account to try and keep me going. Instead, if people enjoy the videos and want to um, explore, I don't know, more other things, they can buy those books and it's the book sales which will keep the channel going instead. But that's, these are all just, um, just ideas really. So, in summary then, we've got the Facebook page, N Jenkins 7, we'll put links down, we've got the blog going, Vidme was tried, uh, although uh, we'll put that on the back burner for the time being. Patreon, maybe, and a bit of an idea with ebooks, possibly, but I'm just throwing out ideas at the moment. So, yeah, I'd like to know your views about that. Thank you for watching, and I'm really glad that you're here. I'll keep the videos going if I can. <laughs> and until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.